All right, guys. Today um, I'm on the Redlands Lake at Hong Grange. Got two carp rods out in a minute. Um, just set up with my mate Brendan, who's just setting his rod up. Just a nice bum, Brendan. In this lake, there's um, carp and roach. What's the carp? What's the biggest carp in there? Thirty-six. Thirty-six, oh, 36 pounds. Thirty-seven. Um, but most of them you pull out are about seven, six, seven pound on the average. And then you get the odd tens, odd twenties, and thirties. Um, just set up my bivy, as you can see, I got a new bivy. Bought it at the big one uh, fishing show. Got my two rods out just behind me. Um, It was pretty cold yesterday, it was raining. I don't know how hot it is today. It's quite warm though, it's not cold. So hopefully we might be in for a few fish. I uh, just had another little line knock. That's a third today, isn't it? Uh, but nothing yet. So yeah, we're just chilling in our bivvy. Um, matey boy next to us is trying on the pole. He's had one out so far. And his mates had one out as well. Um, they were both on the cover, their cover tips, not on their pole. But he's trying with the pole now. <coughs> uh, Dave Hunt and Dan Fothergill are here today over there. They're going to be making a new DVD. They're sponsored by, Dave used to be sponsored by Midi Tackle um, and now he's sponsored by Crowthorn Anglin and uh, Camo Carp Rigs. So yeah, him and his mate are over there and uh, let's hope we pull a few more out than them, yeah? I'll just talk you through my baits. Um, on one rod I'm using oh I'm using these marine mixed marine halibut pellets. Um, I'm using a small one, small mixed marine and a medium, and they're both tipped with sweet corn, fake sweet corn. My uh, I've been putting out PVA bags of hemp seed and maize on the on my left hand rod. And on my right hand rod, I've got the medium and I've got a method feeder on. And this is what I'm putting in my method feeder. It's a mixture of coconut glug. I, tip, I put that in there. Really does smell really nice though. I've got some hemp and maize mixture and some carp fiesta by Carp Zoom ground bait in there. make it into a nice ball. It's drying out a little bit. So yeah. Had about five knocks now. Getting a bit impatient. But I'll just stick to it. And hopefully I might have a chance of catching. Right guys. I uh, just had a few more knocks. It is half eleven now. Um, just recasted my rods about half an hour ago. I don't know why it's fishing slow, really. We've got two guys right next to us. They've caught. They've caught. How many? One of them's caught four, the other one's caught two. Yeah. That's Brendan. So, yeah. We're just nice and warm in, our, in my new bivvy. But yeah, um, definitely catch. I know we'll catch. And it always kicks off later in the afternoon. But um, I'm st as I said, I'm staying until about half six, seven. So that gives us another... What's the time, sorry? Seven or eight hours. Yeah, it gives us another <laughs> s seven, 
seven, seven and a half hours. So, yeah, got plenty of time to catch a fish. Just waiting for them to take my bait. Um, I hope it's a big one that's a real in. I mean, like Brendan said, biggest is 36 pound in there. All it is is carp and roach in this lake, but really nice lake to fish on. First time I came here, I, uh, I blanked. I, I, that was when I was, I wasn't very good back then. Um, I'd only been fishing for about two months back then, and you know, he wasn't using the right tactics and had no patience, kept reeling the rods in every ten minutes. But you know, you leave them out there, patient pay, patience pays off, so. Just waiting for one of them to take our bait. Hopefully, we catch a big one. Um, <coughs> I'll show you Brendan's setup in a minute. He's got what have you got? Fox reels. Yeah. Fox, Fox. starters reels. Yeah. What else have you got? Um, ESP snipers, rods. Uh, they're three and a quarter pound. Bit too powerful for here, but like. Well, I'm fishing quite far out, so it helps with the casting. Yeah. I got a um, Abu Garcia 2.5 pound test curb. Um, 12 foot 2 piece uh, cut pot, sorry. And my other rod is a Shakespeare match rod. I think it's, I think it's 11 foot. Um, but yeah. That quickly show you uh, here's the lake nice view of the lake Brendan's fishing out there and I'm fishing just out there right in the, about in the middle of the lake here's his setup there's a nice big beasty fox um, pit reels Delkin two Delkin bite alarms 12 foot two piece uh, what are these again? ASP snipers, three and quarters. Three and a quarter pound test curve. ASP snipers. So yeah, good setup. What have you got? Fifteen pound camo uh, line. Camo soft steel camo. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, nice view of the lake. Hopefully we'll catch pretty soon. There you go. This is my method feeder. As I showed you the ground bait earlier. Swivel there and an extra little bit of hook length there. And I've got just a little rig, about a four inch rig. Um, the marine hand propeller on there, tipped with a bit of sweet corn, uh, a bit of fake corn. So yeah, let's cast this one out. Why are you missing the top section of the tip? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. It's video. Have you got weighing scales, wait? Yeah. <laughs> you alright? I just caught this nice little chunky oh, there we are. There's a fish. Look, we've seen a fish. See? Really, really chunky. That's a big fish to eat, actually. Look at that. See? Yeah. Nice, put up a good fight. Very strong fish. Really chunky. Yeah, nice. Put it back in the water now. How big dressing that is, mate? Six pound. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Really four. chunky. Alright, do you want to stop recording? No, I've got you, mate. Let's stop recording. Go on. Off into the depths. Alright guys, back again just after that six pounder. Waited a few hours for this one but 
just got it in. Yeah, Brendan, do you want to hold the camera? Yeah, man. I think this might just be a PB. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty big. That's a PB. You got scales so I can weigh it? I've got them. No. Nah. Okay. Oh, no, nah, I think you've caught bigger than that. No, I haven't. Yeah, My you biggest have. is six pound four ounce so far, so no, I swear on my life this is the biggest carp I've caught. Go get your scales, please. You've caught. Hold that then. Hooked it. Yep, yeah, hook come out weird. nicely. Weighing your mat. Your mat. You want to match? Lift him off this. No, you weigh him in my net. Because the net gives it too much weight, extra weight. Or just put him back in the water. No, don't put him back in the water. Oh. Right. <clears throat> the camera's still on. Look at that guy's nice common. Big right. chunky common. Bloody hell. Oh, Slide one in the middle of that. Just there. Put your finger God, in. This is strong. Right, put these two sides together. Get out the Oh yeah. Come oh, on boy. Out, oh wow! Slide him in, Brendan. <laughs> you make me giggle. I can really some curry, boy. Have you been eating some curry? No. How is he? Mm, just feel a bit bigger. Seven. Let's get this for the camera. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Eleven ounces. Eleven ounces. I'm not, not sure. Not far off eight pound. Yeah, not far off eight pounds. Right. Oh god, I just dropped the camera. It's recording. Just hooked into my third fish of the day. There we go, into the surface. Nice little common. Nice. Really fighting. Wow. Well. Really is fighting. In he goes. In he goes. Alright, just bring him on to the mat. This is heavy. Ah, that's a big one. Nice big one. Yeah. Might want to weigh this one. Don't want to weigh that. What? It's about five pounds. I reckon this is a little bit more than five. No, that, that other one looked about nine and it was seven pound eleven. First time. There's see. the hook feet. Nailed. Buddy. That's about the average size for here, about maybe six pounds. Yeah. Got a nice bit of spawn in it, look. And the size is worth weighing, you know. Nice and calm. Right, let's see if it's got any um, leeches on it. They normally go in his mouth or on his belly. Right, this one's cool. Alright, let's calm it down. Let's see if we can get a nice picture of this one. It's gonna go. There we go. So nice, about six pound common.
Alright, I'm just gonna release my new personal best. Seven pound eleven ounce. And there he goes. Again, back into the deep water. Don't feel too big. Not put enough to bully him fight. Oh my god, it is. He's really going there. As you say that. He'd like to net me. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, this one really put enough a nice fight. Come on, love. Just drag her over the note. That's it. Beautiful. In she goes. Beautiful. On the maggot. Nice, nice, nice girl. My cover's a bad Yeah. Nice look at that. A few maggots on the arc. Alright, alright. Only a little one, but only a tiddler. Yeah, stop it. Let me try and get the arc out, mate. Look at those tentacles. A pair of forceps always come in handy when you can't quite get the hook out. Or a disgorger, but I recommend the forceps. There we go, straight out. This so, one's got a bit of damage to it. Yeah. A bit of damage to its scale. Other than that, quite a nice common. Just putting this one back. Fourth one today. Put up a little, a pretty good fight, yeah. Just let it. It goes. Good fishing. Brendan's. Where's he going? On a fish. Oh wait, though, I think I've got. Oh, let's say that's not a fish. Maybe not. <laughs> I've got a tangle with someone else. to the end of our, uh, my fishing day today. At the end I caught five carp all together so far so um, yeah I've got a new PB, had some nice carp out. Um, shame my, uh, my friend Brendan blanked but that's fishing for you. Alright, subscribe and uh, leave some comments. Thanks.